Hey guys, Ben Paints here and today we're back once again for another video and this time we've headed over to Team Sport Cardiff for something a little bit different. We have entered into a round of their Summer Championship. Now, I'm going to explain the layout before we fully get into the video. Now, the format for this one was a one-shot qualifying where I qualified 11th in my group. The group was split in half and then the top six in each group would then be put into an A final after a 15 minute sprint race. So the top six in those would go into an A final and the bottom six would go into a B final for a 45 minute straight endurance race with two pit stops. And that is the footage you are about to see now. And the green light has gone the way and as you can see, we actually qualified second last in our one shot qualifying obviously not used to the carts and completely forgotten how to drive the track since we haven't been here in five months we then gained two positions in the sprint race and we we're about to gain a third which would have put us first or second based on lap times but unfortunately i had to give the position back as it was a little bit forceful so we started this endurance race in fourth position in the b final but if you did come in first place in the B final, you would get promoted up to the A final. So there was a lot of carting up for grabs if you did manage to finish in first place, especially in the B final. Now, before we get into the rest of the footage, I would like to say if you are new to the channel, could you please hit the subscribe button down below as it really does mean a lot. And if you enjoyed this video, it's a little bit of a shorter one and you'll see why in a little bit, but could you also leave a like on it as it really does mean the world to me. Now, as I mentioned, this was a 45 minute straight race, but what you're going to see is there wasn't too much action in this one. It was quite just going through the motions and you'll see that as we get further into the video. Now you can see we're in fourth position so far and we're just trying to hang on to the back of the top three guys. Obviously we don't want anyone just immediately running off into the distance because once that happens, they're just sort of home free, home sailing then. And as I mentioned, we haven't actually been to Cardiff in five months. The last time I came down to Cardiff, was on February the 5th I believe which was a long time ago and I completely forgotten that in the carts here you really have to use the steering as a brake rather than use the brakes so my initial qualifying time was a high 35 second lap time which is obviously completely off the pace compared to the other guys obviously other people are getting 34s 30 low 35 so I knew I was quite off the pace early on but as we got further and further into the race I found that my lap times getting better I was getting back into the groove and I was really hoping that we could beat our previous PB at the track in these carts which was a 34.1 second lap time so let's see if we can do it by the end of the video now you can see already that we are putting the driver in cart number seven under a lot of pressure he's having to lift himself up out of the seat to try and get a better run coming up the ramp and obviously as i usually like to do in these longer endurance races with pit stops is you want to try and leave your pit stop strategy as late as possible just because you sort of get into the groove the cart starts running better and you become into a little bit more of a consistent flow state or i do personally so that's why i always like to try and leave my pit stops as late as possible even if you feel that you are stuck behind someone who you think you are a little bit quicker than it's always better to follow along behind them and try and get a little bit of a toe behind someone compared to when you just sort of drive around on your own and you don't really have a reference it just does force you to push yourself a little bit harder now there's definitely a couple of opportunities here where i could have gone for an early move but in my head i thought if i go for an early move make contact lose us both time then we're just going to be even further back you can see the driver in first place toby who's one of the juniors at the track he is beginning to race off into distance and he has also got some pretty lightning pace so i don't know why he was down in the b final but it is what it is and we were just going to try and work our way through and try and catch up to him if we could. Now you can see a driver in second place has now dipped off into the pits quite early which is something I always like to see because as I mentioned I like to go a little bit later and it just means that I can carry out my stint for longer and get into a more consistent rhythm. So I knew that the pressure I was putting the driver up ahead under he would probably do the same and especially to cover off the person in second place so you can see they're making quite a few mistakes here and they are leaving a big gap going into the bottom hairpin i looked 
I thought, well, I didn't look for, I thought about moving my head, but I thought if I sit behind him, I have a, there's a high probability that he is going to dip in the pit on this lap, and to my surprise, he actually does. So now we're up into second place, we have a lot of free air, and I knew that I had some decent pace now after being on the track for a good 15, 16, 17 minutes at this point that I was going to get back into the groove. Now, we do jump forward quite a bit here just because we were just trundling around in second place. Toby sort of raced off and then he went in for a pit stop. So you can see we have now jumped in a little bit later. You can see our lap times have come down drastically to a 34.274, which is like one tenth of our fastest lap in these carts at the track. You can see we're right up behind Neil G. And I thought rather than sort of trying to go for an overtake on him, as he was sort of a lap down I thought we'd come into the pits a little bit earlier than I like to just so I had a little bit more clean air to try and go for some better laps we can see straight away being compromised by another driver that we overtook earlier in the session and just a few sort of seconds lost here but they do move to the side I thank them and we're on our way once again off in second place as I mentioned now the driver in first at this point I don't believe it was Toby even though I thought it was so I got really confused here I thought that Toby had only done one pit stop at this point but as a matter of fact he had already done two so we had Richard up ahead of us in first place he was in third at the time when I pitted so he's now gone into the pits and we've now come out ahead of him once again up into first and this is sort of where we remained once again for a large majority of the race we obviously had Toby coming up behind us in second as I mentioned I did think that he had already pitted so or only pitted once so I thought at this point I was sort of holding him up you can see my lap times are not really improving at this point is because I was driving a little bit more defensive and I was also trying to hold him up a little bit through a couple of the corners especially the S section and this rounded corner here I was sort of lifting off a lot more and especially going into the corner I was breaking a lot more and going a lot slower you can see I'm getting loaded a little bit there because I knew that Richard in third might have an opportunity to sort of catch up and maybe even sort of put him under pressure himself so I was trying to deploy some sort of strategic brain at this point but unfortunately for myself I didn't realize that Toby had already pitted twice so at this point it was all really in vain but we're going to pretend that he hasn't pitted yet and that we are having a good battle and obviously we've got two of the back markers up ahead again We've obviously got Neil and another driver up ahead of us, so I didn't really want to get stuck behind these guys for too long, so I was thinking if I could try and get as close as possible to them by the time that the pit stop came, then I would dive into the pits and sort of leave Toby to try and battle with them, and hopefully they hold him up enough where I would be able to sort of catch back up and maybe even go for a move later on into the race. You can see I'm really catching up now at this point, driving quite defensive as I mentioned, getting loaded out of the corner as I'm going quite slow, and I dive off into the pits here to perform my second and final stop. It's a little bit earlier than I wanted it to be done, but you can see from doing this, we've been overtaken by Toby and Richards. Now we're down in third place. Obviously, Richards only done one pit stop as well. So we're down in third place, and our last lap isn't too slow off our fastest lap pace but we could definitely push it a lot harder than we have been it was only because I was driving a little bit more defensive as I mentioned and I found as I got later into the race the cart became really comfortable I was really enjoying it but you can see we come across the line with our pit stop a 42.3 second lap which obviously is very slow indeed so we're just coming around now and as we come past the pits once again you see Richards coming into the pits to try and cover us off but by having a really quick pit stop compared to our first one, which I believe was 45 seconds, we've been able to jump him by quite a significant distance. Now, we do jump forward a significant way once again into the last two laps of the race. And the lap you are watching now is in fact the fastest lap that I performed on the evening, which is in fact my new PB at the track. You see we've already beaten our PB of a 33.916. And we're going to see how quick this one is. And the only reason I've skipped through is because I was literally driving around for 35 to 40 minutes and I didn't think it was very interesting for you guys to watch so we're just going to skip forward into this lap which was actually my best lap of the night and I was really happy with it trying to stay as stable as possible through the S section not getting the back end of the car out too much and we come across the line with a 33.893 second lap which as I mentioned is our fastest lap here at Cardiff in the biz carts it's not quite as quick as my fastest lap in the Sony carts which I did in my one and my first time at the track where I got a 33.6 in a public session so really good pace on this evening I was really happy and as it happens I'm gonna say it, weight really does make a big difference obviously 
I have another five months of experience compared to the last mile here, but I really felt that I was a lot quicker coming up that up ramp, which is quite steep. And we do come across the line in second place with a 34.060. So that does in fact bring us to the end of the video and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It has been a little bit of a shorter one compared to the normal, but if you have enjoyed it, can you please leave a like on it down below and subscribe for more in the future. We've got some very good events coming up soon. But as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.